Hi girls, I hope you've been well. It feels like such a while since we've just gotten together to have a little bit of a how-to video. And I'm super excited today because I'm going to do yet another blending video. I know we have so many new followers with our page. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We absolutely love having you here. Now I'm going to show you today how I blend my silk toppers into my bio hair without a lace front. So I've currently got one of my toppers on my head now. And so what we're going to do is take this off and completely deconstruct how it is put on. So let's jump to it. I'm going to unclip all the clips and remove my topper. So when it comes to blending your topper, it is a very personal preference. So it depends on, you know, how much hair you have, what your hairline is like, and also other factors like if you wear a middle part, if you wear a side part, uh, just in general, how you like to wear your hair. There are so many different ways to wear your topper that you can, when you receive your piece, you can literally just sit there, experiment with it and really make it your own. I'm going to show you two ways that I blend my topper. I'm going to show you with a side part and I'm also going to show you with a middle part. These rat's tail combs are super essential in blending your topper. I use both ends of this to get that perfect look. So let's start with a side part. Now, when I do my hair, I always comb it back. And then with the fine tooth, I'm just going to part my hair. Now, my hairline at the front is quite sparse. So I actually use a little bit of powder on most days to just get that blend perfect. So I'm going to show you that as well. Okay. So I have my topper in my hand and I have all my clips closed, okay? So I like to put the topper on with my clips closed and then I'll open them and clip them on once it's positioned on my head. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to line up my part line with the topper part line. You can see there, I like to bring my topper pretty much all the way to the front because I find that because my hair is quite thin there, if I set it back here, you can see that distinction between the topper and my hair. Now, people worry about this little bit here. Please don't worry about it. It is such a non-issue. You can use a little bit of translucent powder. And if I have some of that, I will show you in this video. But what I like to do is bring it really forward. And this little bit here is my own hair. I like to leave that out. I've got a little bit of a widow's peak, so I use that to my advantage. Okay, so now I've got the topper on exactly where I want it. So I'm going to start opening each clip and then super gently scooping some of my hair into it and then closing it. So I'm going to do that with all the clips, but bear in mind, you don't actually have to use all the clips. You can use two, three, as many as you feel comfortable. Um, and another good tip is you can use different clips on different days so you're not always applying the same pressure to the same part of your, of your scalp. So with my little comb, I'm going to hold down my topper firmly and now I'm just going to start combing my own hair through with my topper hair. And that's just going to give me that perfect blend. Like blended by your hair with topper is always going to be best. Now with my hair on this side, you can see this is my hair underneath. So I'm just going to sort of put it over the topper, if that makes sense. Just to give it, sort of to hide the edge, not you've got to hide the edge of the topper, but it just gives it a little bit of that lift and it makes it look super natural. Well, in my opinion. Now with this little bit here, let's add some powder. I just use a Roots Scout Powder, but anything is fine. Even eyeshadow is fine. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the color and then just dab it in there just really quickly. And that's basically pretty much done. Let's just comb it through one more time. The powder, like sometimes just putting a little bit of a comb through it. My dog is barking underneath me. Okay, so that is 
our topper, our first blend with a side part. And I might mention that my own hair is a little bit, well, a lot shorter than the topper. But once it's all on together, it doesn't really make that much of a big deal. But again, personal preference. Okay, let's do a middle part. So let's unclip our topper. Okay, middle part. So I'm gonna move my own hair. So generally it is best, whatever part you're doing on your topper, do it on your bio hair so it all matches up together. With a middle part, sometimes it is not as easy to leave your own hair out. But what I like to do is leave that little bit at the front, again, like using my widow's peak to my advantage, just using that little bit at the front to blend it all together. So it works exactly the same. I'm gonna flip it, line it up and place it. And see, I'm just gonna leave that little bit of my hair out. And then once I've got exactly where I want it, I'm gonna start clipping the topper into my hair. Okay, so with my fingers or with a comb, you're just gonna to start to blend that natural, your natural hair and the top of hair. And now with my powder, I'm just gonna dab a little bit here. So exactly the same method, but I'm just placing my topper in a slightly different position on my head. What works really well with middle parts is to blow dry, is to wet the top of hair at the front, blow dry it back, and you get some really nice volume and lift at the front. Another trusty comb is literally like a blow drying brush. Like you can really like hold your piece down and really like just get in there and brush the hair back. You can do this with any part line with the, with the topper, but see how you can just get your own hair out. Even if you've only got a little bit of hair in the front, it all works okay. And I just comb it all back. And see that beautiful lift that it gives? You can even pop a tiny bit of hairspray in this just to keep that sort of lift at the front. And I really love that look. I think it looks super duper natural, so I really love it. Okay, I'm going to show you one more trick. So we'll see if this works. I just have like a nude um, like powder, like a foundation matte sort of style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this onto a brush and I'm going to see if I can erase that little transition line, this little line here, with the use of powder. So full transparency, I've never done this before, but I've seen the girls at work do it. So I've just dabbed it on, literally any brand will work. Dabbing it. I know this video is going to be edited, but this is like live in action right now. Ooh, I think that it is almost erasing that transition line. I think if I've just put a little bit more, it would be perfect. Let me jump cut. Okay, I've put a little bit more powder and I'm just gonna put a touch more. See, I'm like putting it on my skin as well. So it just all melts together. All right, let me grab my comb because I'm super excited about this. Okay, now I'm just gonna comb the powder through. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I'm calm, are you calm? Look at that. That is literally magic. That is amazing. I can't believe I've never done that before. Look at that girls. That is hiding, like obviously it's not perfect, but it's super good. 
look at that transition line there like it's hidden with the powder and that would just wash off when you wash your topper or you can just get a little cotton um cotton pad and just dab that with water if you wanted to remove it but that is sensational i'm going to leave this on like this for the rest of the day because i'm literally obsessed with this look super natural super amazing and i'm so excited for you to try this if you try this technique please send me photos because i'm actually obsessed and i would love to see your creations with blending your topper look at that on the side that's that's insane that's insane okay thank you so much for watching this girls it was so great to chat and i will see you in the next video bye